Hello guys, uh, this is video for my several subscribers uh, who was interested in uh, to create trading strategy but don't know how to do it and who looks uh, some start point uh, to create uh, trading strategy with machine learning. Um, when you surf in YouTube you see some bored video with some simple trading strategy but uh, we need uh, some working tools uh, uh, and good to start start point to analyze uh, all this data. This um, approach on machine learning calls like super learning uh, models. Let's do some review. Uh, we are going to use uh, library scalar and we need to use also a standardization for our data set is standard scalar. We also need to use some ensemble uh, models of machine learning like random forest machine learning, Begin classif uh, classification and other boost classifier. Also several uh, models like neighbors and liner model 3. Also very good model for machine learning like uh, Gaussian. And also we need to use all these models to create one big model. So. And because in this case we are going to use a super learning approach, it means when we train our data set on these models and we use this data to predict some, uh, some of this prediction to give another prediction. Let's uh, do some review. <clears throat> for example, this is a method for create our models and you see this is a list with our models when we indicate uh, some parameters. In your case you also could add another models uh, but uh, in this um, case we solve problem of classification and you need to add a model for uh, to solve also model uh, to solve problem classification. Also you could uh, uh, increase number of estimator but uh, you should uh, Think about overfitting of this model if you used uh, some uh, big number of estimator like uh, 500 for a random forest, for example. It it takes more time for train our models and <clears throat> could be uh, make our models of, uh, overfitting. So this is very big job uh, to make uh, some quantitative research. It takes uh, we need a team um, to analyze all this data, for example, uh, test the best parameters for random forest classifier, find the best estimators, uh, test it on the different uh, uh, time series, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, looking at the best approach, it takes uh, time. And also, it's the same for another models, it also takes some time, so you know about, for example, uh, some comp um, comp uh, competitive uh, like uh, um, like I, I forgot. Okay, <clears throat> let's try again to talk about it. Okay, so let's ne next we need create um, our super learning models. You see, this is, would be like ensemble, and we need to use the super super learning um, class uh, to create uh, some <clears throat> optimization of this matrix. We use matrix uh, rock aux score. And we use a cross validation like 50. Uh, we use a shuffle and a sample size. Next, we <coughs> used uh, models. We create this object of models and uh, do some analyzing. We used a logistic regression to analyze all the prediction of these models to find the best prediction. What is the model? Uh, give us uh, the best prediction. Okay. So this model give us some prediction, but this model analyzes the best prediction of these models. So this is tricks for machine learning and it's very good working for a quantity of trading if you use the machine learning strategy. Okay, if you solve problem trading, solve, solve trading problem using machine learning. Next, we use create feature. This is method method to create um, to create multiply of indicators. This would be a big data set. Let's uh, I show you how it's working. For example, let's analyze um, this one. Let's analyze this start point. What is it? 
let's use our debug and uh, let's run okay and we need to understand what is what is the data uh, in this method let's uh, wait it takes some time to download data from binance okay and you see it's our columns and we have multiply of indicators okay it's uh, too many indicators and we need to use all these models to analyze all these indicators to give uh, some uh, prediction in our uh, super learning machine learning strategy uh, to analyze all this prediction to give us some of the best predictions so this is some tricks okay okay next we need uh, let's see another what what we have else okay feature variable what is interesting columns okay this uh, data we used to, uh, to back test is uh, our pandas data frame uh, the big data frame for us so it takes some time to open this one okay okay let's stop uh, so let's continue um here uh, we do some processing and we used to um, download data from binance and create this feature and we get uh, accounts name uh, return and uh, our pandas data frame okay next we create our targets also tricks for trading here we need split uh, what data we are going to predict and we use a quantil to predict what is the data we are going to predict okay please use it and you could uh, read more about in pandas library uh, try to use google uh, let's uh, try uh, another uh, split data we uh, split data on train and test data to, to analyze how to work in, on validation and uh, data when the our machine learning models never seen data before okay so in this model uh, method we are going to create machine learning model so we create uh, uh, object of class uh, uh, to standardization of data set we feed this one also we create our ensemble of machine learning model we train this ensemble of machine learning next we predict the data and text we do some prediction and uh, to create some simple machine learning strategy okay and we return some uh, object like test we would be our pandas data frame ensemble is a class of uh, super learning machine learning strategy and S S it means our standardization scalar S S okay. Next we need to uh, uh, plot our data set and check uh, uh, returns. Okay. Next we need to uh, find accuracy of data set. We use uh, uh, we used uh, in this uh, case. Uh, Matrix confusion matrix and we return this confusion matrix. You see, and uh, matrix we uh, import this class from SQL Learning and uh, uh, call method uh, classification report uh, to create uh, information about our confusion matrix because we solve problem of machine learning classification. Next, I create a model to analyze our data in real time. Okay, it's the same. We download the data. Uh, but before we load data uh, from uh, we load data so each time uh, when we uh, when we train the data we save this data into a pickle format and we save some useful information here okay, let's uh, see where it is and you see let's see what is analyzed data let's look at this analyze market what is it and you see we save some information it's accuracy models and uh, processing uh, um, standard uh, formatted standardization okay it's clear so uh, we do some uh, recommendation real time what we should to do uh, buy sell or wait next we need uh, save model load model and the main method would be analyze uh, market this method method uh, consists of another method like uh, find accuracy and we need to return some market data with accuracy some useful information 
Next method is validation data. Uh, we need to test uh, our models uh, to check how to work in, uh, for the last several days, for example. We, uh, using this uh, method, we take parameters. Uh, using these uh, parameters, this is a dictionary, and we get data how many days, so what is the ticker, so what is the time series, so, for example, one hours, four hours, one day, five minutes, it depends on your style of trading, and you could use uh, this uh, is for information. Also, we input days, number of days. This is uh, uh, Pandas data frame, and we set index like time, and we also could uh, call um, method last. It means uh, we take last uh, several days to, to test our strategy. Okay, uh, and no, the last method is the last crypto market. Um, take argument parameters, we download data, and analyze market, save model. Okay, it's clear. So, what you need to do, it's very simple. So, for example, let's uh, run this one. And this is uh, parameters you could change, for example, Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, Cardano, or uh, you could uh, test for several 90 days, 40 days, it doesn't matter, it uh, depends on style of your trading and how many legs uh, to analyze, uh, what is time series, 1 hour, 5 minutes. Okay, and we need first what we need to do and analyze crypto market to create some models, uh, super learning models. Okay, let's do it. We download the data and create super learning models with some statistical and let's uh, check what is the uh, profit line okay it takes some times <clears throat> take some times okay and this uh, very important thing we save uh, useful information with models and some statistics of these models uh, and uh, uh, standardization class uh, object uh, we saved this uh, data that's uh, to uh, to use it in, in the uh, in the future okay this this is our confusion matrix and uh, we got uh, some um, statistic of these methods and we need for example uh, this expected return this is uh, our strategy and we could uh, uh, play with it uh, to find some relationship. Okay, it's a very powerful uh, techniques. Okay, this um, class we, uh, we used to, to create some validation um, data set. Let's test for the uh, what happens for last five days. Uh, we download uh, download the data and do some calculation. Okay, let's I uh, do some. Um, description of last crypto market. Okay. Um, uh, make research maybe. Make research. Of, uh, machine learning model. Okay. Okay. It's machine. How to use it? Learning. Okay, uh, I used a copy lot. Uh, I, I get uh, some uh, suggestion to use a copy lot. It's very nice. It also, I, I talk about uh, uh, I will uh, in the next video. Okay, so next, analyze validation data. Okay, make prediction. Very good suggestion of artificial intelligence of GitHub. Okay, so let's do plot. What is the plot of data set? Okay, it's good. And this is signal in real time. <coughs> Make prediction of cryptocurrency market in real time. Okay, let's do it. What happens? I run it. Okay, 
for example, prediction zero, it means uh, we should wait and it's uh, uh, time uh, for one hour uh, using GMT zero, it's a green beach time. Okay, let's do some improvement. For example, let's let's do it. I'm going to change uh, number fault maybe. Let's check. So you should uh, use this uh, code to understand how it's working. It would be a very good point uh, how to use machine learning models uh, to uh, create some strategy or do some quantitative research. It's very powerful uh, techniques. Uh, you could uh, change some create feature, you could analyze uh, what data returns, uh, it's multiply feature and we could do some analyzing. Okay. So, okay. Um, okay, I forgot, I forgot to, uh, to change something. Let's, let's do, I need prediction predict and I need delay to this one okay I need delay I forgot I forgot okay let's because I forgot to fix some bug okay 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 it's working nice so let's run again and check what happens in the last cryptocurrency market i've dated uh, method and let's see uh, market crypto analyzing data you don't load data okay let's look in okay it's validation let's try to improve our, our strategy in the current moment okay it takes some time so let's do uh, this improvement we need what we need to do for example <clears throat> to find some relationship okay let's let's look in for example on this we change some logic okay like this let's test it you should play uh, with this code and find the best parameters to understand how it's working and we, uh, we could find uh, some uh, good uh, ideas how to trade okay okay let's see okay it's working let's test for example uh, for the last 60 days um, I'm not sure it would be working because uh, we need to refresh our models for example each week and if it takes, for example, 20% uh, of this data, it would be a uh, very long time when we are not, uh, not uh, retrain this data again. Okay, but let's test. Okay, but in general, it's working. It's very nice. It's very nice. Okay, let's test for the last five days what happens if we use this strategy. Okay, it's working. So we could use it. Uh, so uh, you sh what you should understand. Uh, you need to uh, change uh, Bitcoin is it is. This is the main parameters what you should to use. Uh, next, uh, uh, you could uh, analyze all this feature and try to uh, figure out how it's working. How it's working. Okay. And so, guys, uh, uh, it's really it's a very powerful uh, machine learning strategy. Okay. Also, you could create uh, another models. Please read uh, this library. It's very simple. Open documentation. Read about a machine uh, learning problem, but you should to use uh, um, classific classificator. Okay. And what else? And if you have some question, uh, you could uh, uh, write me about the strategy. Uh, if you need uh, help to develop something, uh, I, I, I could help you uh, to do it. Okay. So, guys, thank you for this video. Um, and see you, see you next time. Bye.